Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about how important backhaul is for these networks. So a few days ago, I got up really early to do some speed testing on unloaded towers for Verizon and T-Mobile. I started it off with the Verizon testing. That tower had band four at 15 megahertz, aggregated with band 13 at 10 megahertz, which combined is close to about 200 megabits per second on capacity. Now, if the backhaul is not turned up all the way, you won't be able to see the full max speeds that this tower can do. And as you can see by these testings, I got nothing over 90 megabits. So that means that tower is capped on backhaul. So in a lot of areas where your speeds are slowing down, you may not need another tower or more spectrum. You may just need a boost and backhaul so the speeds can increase. And sometimes the carrier can do it. They can just do it by calling the local IPS provider, the local AT&T or Comcast. Sometimes they have to make a visit to the site. It just depends. So this is the Verizon one. As you can see, nothing over 90. But still, that's really good. But that early in the morning, I should be able to get at least over, way over 100. So as you will see on the T-Mobile testing, their backhaul is turned up all the way from what it looks like. And as you can see, I'm getting close to 200 megabits per second. Now they're running a little bit more spectrum uh, than Verizon. They're doing band four at 20 megahertz and band two aggregated at 15 megahertz. So that tower can do close to about, I want to say 300 megabits per second total capacity. But it looks like the backhaul does also match that. So you're going to see speeds like this on T-Mobile on the un unloaded tower. Of course, each area is different. Your area might not be able to do that based on the spectrum that's on the tower. But I've seen a lot of people, well, a lot more people get speeds like this. So definitely, I just wanted to make this video I do have another slide. Just wanted to make this video to show you guys that sometimes it could just be the backhaul issue on your tower that's keeping you from getting faster speeds and keeps the tower uh, being congested throughout the day. So I hope this was an informational video for you guys. Just wanted to let you know this. I have a lot more content coming for you today. AT&T just announced their quarter two earnings. Verizon announced something this morning really big that's going to shake up the industry. So lots more competition coming, lots more content from me. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you hit the little bell so you can get notified when I drop videos. I have a lot more content coming for you guys. Work is going to slow down in a few weeks. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Smash that likes button. It is much appreciated. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.